Well, you have time. Our agenda is June 22nd is our next meeting, correct? We actually, there has been an application made in some form or fashion. Okay. Is it a site plan application? I don't even know. If it is, then we'll have to send out a joint notice. Well, I, I guess my question is, is this vote, well, I actually know what I'll
building closed. buildings closed on all sides, then it's permissive. So can I clarify? It, the plan that was previously submitted shows a sales, I think it's referred to as a sales shed or a sales office. So that's where the business would be conducted. And prospective customers would come to the site, Mr. Riley or someone on his staff would show them the different models that were available. Once they selected them, like we did at a car dealership, you then would go to the sales office and fill out the paperwork and that thing. This is a permanent building. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it was indicated that this was not going to be a permanent building. My, that's my understanding as well as a shed that can be. Any yes or a no? I have to ask Mr. Riley. Mr. Bennett, why don't you ask Mr. Mr. Riley? The shed is not going to be permanently affixed to the site. It will not. No. Well, another threshold is that we're hung up on the word building. All we use is the vacant land. Also required. And the two ways to look at that, this is really part of the pizza hut site. It's not its own separate lot. It's part of pizza hut. But uh, and then, of course, the third threshold that we just talked about before, does this affect, the significantly affect the characteristics of the site <coughs> in terms of required off-street parking, loading access, drainage, utilities, etc. So if it exceeds any of those thresholds, and that's for you to determine, then site plan approval is required. If it does not, they have their variance, they can proceed and get their building. What okay. amendments? What did it go? I think it does, number one. And number two, I'm concerned about the, uh, we mentioned at a previous meeting, um, that the people that are leasing that property is Pizza Hut. And we haven't seen any representation from, from Pizza Hut at all. Well, I, I have a lease. I think there is. Yeah, yeah I, have a, I have a fax and a copy of the lease from the owners of the property. How long is that lease? From the owner. How long is the lease? The, the duration? Yeah. Or how many pages? No, no, no. <laughs> no. The duration of the lease. <laughs> uh, the 10 year lease with the 10 year renewal. For the cool. applicant or for Pizza Hut? For Pizza Hut. Right. So that's okay. the question. No, about the applicant. Right. no, the question is Pizza Hut is renting that, that whole parcel. No. So their lease is for a portion of the property, and the lease allows the owner to lease the balance to Mr. Riley. The applicant so is going to use the Pizza Hut. Property to access the gambling right. property. Is that correct? That is correct. And that is all he's asking. But that. it's all one parcel. Yes. It's all one parcel. Right. Pizza Hut is leasing that parcel. No. Pizza Hut no. owns it. They're leasing it to this guy. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no but no. it's Matthew Street Property LLC oh. that owns the property. I got it. Leasing the that property to Pizza Hut. If I'm in one lot, a portion of the property, they own the big piece. A portion of that property is leased to Pizza Hut. They're going to lease the other portion, the vacant, to this applicant. I think what the question is, is this one parcel. Yeah, that's okay, but you can have two uses on you, okay. you can You can lease different parcels off, but the, I think the question that we would have is the Pizza Hut portion, they're going to access through the Pizza Hut lease property and they're going to be parking on the Pizza Hut. Correct. So there has to be something from Pizza Hut Correct. through the agreement well, allowing them. We have to provide you with a copy of the lease that was sent to us between the record owner and the Pizza Hut, uh, an LLC that is a franchise holder. And that permits the property owner to lease out the balance of the property and use the parking lot. Yep. There you go. Okay. 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 Again, we fall into the, what we have three times. CS uh, zone. This uh, this is not a CS. It's the uh, CS. 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 But we still fall in the uh, for the site plan approval. Ten point two applies everywhere. Yeah. Ten point two zoning ordinance. Waiver it, or do you want to you want to have the site plan? Challenge. You might have to repeat that. Yeah. Sorry, Mike. No problem. The site plan approval is required in all districts for one, the erection or enlargement of all buildings. Two, for all uses of vacant land. Three, Three uses of vacant land. Yeah. Three. Go. Oh, yeah. This is a all use of vacant land. Vacant land. 
Well, this is, it depends upon how you slice it, Augie. If you say it's part of the occupied <laughs> pizza hut. Yeah, they separated it for me. It's, it's, it's one parcel. I'm, but not, I'm not quarreling with you. Okay, no, no. Well, I'm not quarreling with you either, Mike. I'm just, I'm just throwing something on the table here. Okay? Well, I said it was one parcel. It was clarified that it's one parcel, but, but the 